Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Perfect. Oh, hey, my friends. It's me, Handyman Hal. I hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. I just got a package in the mail. Oh, and I can't wait to show you what this is. This is a really awesome tool for the workshop. And look, it's from my friends from Bamboo Lab. Oh, oh, oh. We've got to get inside. Let's see. Box cutter. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. Always remember, it's really sharp. Got to make sure you have an adult with you. Here we go. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. This is going to be perfect for the workshop. It's going to help me out with so many projects. Oh, this is going to be great. Right there, right there. There. All right. Close that back. Put it back. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, oh. There it is, sir. Oh, oh. oh, yes. I'm excited. Oh. Here we go. Let's see. Nope. Slide this out. Oh. Look at that bubble wrap. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get this out here. Nice and easy. <laughs> oh, here's one piece. <laughs> Let's slide it over to the side. Oh, there's some tubes here. Okay. <laughs> well, here's one piece. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there's one piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's the other piece. Oh, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, oh. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, we don't need that. Oh. You know what this is? This is a 3D printer. Oh, 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 and I'm so excited. I can't wait to start printing some things. But how do I assemble it? Oh, the handyman has a plan. Let me call my friend. Oh, wow. Look, it's my friend. This is Mr. Joel. How are you, sir? Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm great, Hal. Thanks for having me come to your workshop. Oh, absolutely. This is Mr. Joel. He is the 3D printing nerd. And he knows all about 3D printing. And these printers, right? Absolutely. Well, so, can you tell me, what is 3D printing? I'm so glad you've asked. Mm -hmm. 3D printing is a way of building something layer by layer by layer. Mm -hmm. And I like to tell people, it's almost like putting frosting on a cake. I like cake. Do you oh, like cake? I love cake. <laughs> when you put frosting on a cake, you're putting down a first layer, a layer of frosting. And if you want to put more frosting on it, you have to put it on top of that first layer of frosting. So you're building out of frosting. Oh, wow. Printers don't use frosting, at least not the ones I have. They use a special kind of plastic, but it's the same way. You're building something layer by layer, and then at the end, you're left with your thing. Oh, that's great. Well, I cannot wait to get started printing. Are you ready? I'd love to help. <laughs> Let's go. Which 3D printer is this? This is the A1 Mini from Bamboo Lab, a 3D printer that can print with up to four different colors of material. Oh, my friends, look, we've got it assembled. It's all put together now. Let's see, this side is for the filament. That's right. right? And this right here is where the objects are printed. Oh, I cannot wait to start printing some things, but first, our next step is to power it up. So I've got this side. I got this side. <laughs> Here we go. All right, my friends, we've powered it up and it just got finished moving and making some noises. What was it doing? Well, we just got it out of the box and it has to figure itself out for the first time. Mm. So it did some calibration things. Oh, okay. That's ways neat. to make it quieter and ways to make it move faster. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so it's all ready and set. What is the next step that we need to do to get to printing? I think we should talk about the filament. Oh, yes, 
It's a really, really important part. Oh, another unboxing. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> and it's blue too. Oh, wow. Check that out. <laughs> oh, and it's in a string form. That's right. Why is it in a string form? Well, it has to be a consistent size. The entire roll of it has to be that size. And so it's just a standard size to fit in these tubes and to fit into that head. Oh, that's great. So this is what gets melted and put into the shapes, right? That's right. Mm, so how hot does it need to be to melt? Really hot. Mm. This is called PLA material. Mm -hmm. PLA material usually melts between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's really hot. <laughs> and so, this is blue. That's what right. other colors are there? Oh, have I got something for you, Hal? Check that out. All the colors of the wow. rainbow. Wow, look at this. It's like colorful tiles. Ooh. Now, are these made from filament? That's right. Each one of those is made from filament, and it has a name and a number on it. Oh, so wow. if you have a project and you're thinking of a specific color, you can look at this, find it, and then get that specific color sent to you like this. Oh, now, that's really cool. Well, we got blue. We might need some orange, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's all set and ready to go. We need to... Put the filament into the machine, right? That's right. That's what's next? That's what's next. Uh -huh. Well, let's get it in the machine. <laughs> hey, mate, Hal, are you excited? This is your very first 3D printer. I'm totally excited. This is gonna be awesome. First, what we have to do is print something called 3D Benchy. It was made by my friend Daniel. He's, he's over in Europe. And it's Benchy because it's a benchmark. And so it's the printer's benchmark. It prints that. And if you know it prints that well, it should print everything else pretty well. So what are we actually gonna be printing? It's a boat. We're printing Ooh. ourselves a little boat. The boat's name is Benchy, and it's a benchmark print. Oh, sweet. Oh, wow. Well, look, my friends, it's finished. It's a little tugboat. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can just pull it off. Just pull it off. Just like that. Wow. Look at that, my friends. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. And that didn't take very long at all. No, not long. Not <laughs> at all. Oh, maybe a little boat. And we can play with it in the bathtub or we can take it to the ocean or in a pool. So many cool things. So many different <laughs> ways that you can play with that little wow, boat. Wow, that's amazing. Now, now you have a boat, though. Absolutely. This must get some ideas in your head. What else would you like to print? Oh, let's see. That's a good question. Mm. What do you think, maybe? Oh, great idea. Maybe maybe something to practice my tools. Like, practice your tools? Practice, practice using my tools with. That's a great idea. Let's print it. Sounds good. Look, my friends, we're 3D printing. <laughs> Can you see that? It's printing something red right now. We're printing our toes. Look at that. It's a little socket wrench, a blue and gray socket wrench. <laughs> you know, I cannot wait until you see the final product of what this is going to be. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> These awesome models are available on Maker World. Oh, my friends, we did it. We 3D printed what we're gonna call our tool practice board. Oh, look at this, isn't this neat? It's got some really cool colors on it. Some red, some blue, some yellow, and all of the pieces that go along with it. All different kinds of screws, like a Phillips, screw check that out and it's yellow oh and a bolt that's blue 
a blue bolt. Oh, and a hex head screw. Look at that. And it's red. <laughs> now, of course, we've got to have the tools for all these screws, right? Look at this. We 3D printed a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, and that goes along with the yellow Phillips screws. <laughs> Fits in there perfectly. We've got that. We've also got the tool for our hex head screws. And it's got a red handle to match the red screws. And then of course, we've got our bolts and our socket wrench. <laughs> and they match as well. So on this practice board, you can practice your colors because the blue bolts can go into the blue spaces. Yep, so you can practice your colors and you can practice using your tools. <laughs> See, it's right there. Oh, yep. So we can get them all in there so we can practice on our, our bolts. We can practice on our hex head screws. Watch this. Red goes in red. Yep. Get that in there. Nice and snug. Oh, wow. And, of course, we can practice using our screwdriver with our Phillips screws. Yellow goes in yellow. Let's see here. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. And then whenever you're finished, what's great about this board is there's a spot for each one of your tools. So you've got your screwdriver, you've got your hex head tool there, and you've got your socket wrench. <laughs> this is amazing. Handyman Hal was really excited about this next print. It looks like he's done with it. Hey, Hal, what did you print? Oh, I can't wait to show you. <laughs> Look at this. Is that what I think it is? Yep. It's a dinosaur. Wow. So you can actually print the little different pieces. It's like a puzzle. Oh, how cool is that? So we built, we printed <laughs> all of the pieces of the puzzle and we put the dinosaur together. <laughs> how hard was that to put together? Ooh, not hard at all. It comes with all the little spots where it goes together, the legs and the spine and the tail. And then of course it's head too. <laughs> It's awesome. I'm so happy you like this. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it turned out really good. It really did. It really did. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, my friends. We've had such an awesome day today. Had so much fun learning about 3D printing. I've got a really awesome tool in the workshop now. <laughs> oh, and you know, we started out with some test pieces, the little boat, and the dinosaur puzzle. Oh, and those went great. Then we went to something bigger, the tool practice board, with all our tools and our screws. Mr. Joel, this has been wonderful. Thank you for coming to show me how 3D printing works. I'm so happy you let me come to your workshop and show you this cool thing that is 3D printing. I get to tell people about this on my own channel and people love it. And now that you know I've got some 3D printers at home, I have something really special for you. Ooh, okay. Do you want to be surprised? Yes. Close your eyes. Okay. Okay, give me your hand. Open your eyes. That is your own oh, Handyman Hal figure. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is amazing. Look, it's me miniaturized. Oh, wow. he's got his blue hard hat. He's got a safety vest on there. Oh, wow. And look, he even has rips in his pants, just like me. That's right. My <laughs> friend, great. my friend Wexter designs these mini figures and we asked him to design one of you and that's what he oh, came up wow. with. Well, Wexter, thank you, sir. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it. That's not the only thing. Oh, There's wow. more? There's more. Oh, wow. Well. I did one in color for you, but I thought, what if, what if Handyman Hal had his own golden figure. Oh, wow! Look at that! Oh, it's a golden handyman now. Oh, wow! That is amazing! Can you see that? Oh, it's a golden me. Oh, wow. Well, Mr. Joel, thank you so much. This is amazing. We've had such an awesome day. Come on. Thanks for watching Handyman Hal. We'll see you later.
Come on, let's go.